Hello racers and welcome to today's video. Now in today's video we are testing the D200 Neo. And what I found with the, the Neo on any of the high amp charging or even discharging and storage, what it'll do is it'll, in this charge for example, it's charging this R1 LIHV um, and when it, it charges it'll hit the cutoff it'll show here that it'll hit the cutoff but then when we go and check the battery afterwards we'll find out that the um, the battery actually reads lower so it doesn't actually bring it up to the voltage it says on the on the little meter it's as if the the charger is not like backing off the current and checking uh, that the battery has reached full charge. Now you can see now it's getting very close to the 435 that the um, LIHV goes to. See that we're just hitting it with a 20 amp current. None of the wires are warm so everything is going properly within spec. The little fan is on the charger and we'll just see what happens when it does hit that 435 and see that it's inching up at 434 now we're at it does say it's at 435 now and you can see the D200 is backing off, dropping the current flow. So that sounds like it's working properly. Oh, we hear the fan is clicked off. Current is dropping. It does show 435 is holding so that's good now I do have in the settings trickle charge enabled so we'll see what that does if that helps or hinders see that we're dropping the current pretty quick now we're down to 10 amp charge or 11.3 or 4 there Dropping into about a 10. Let's just observe and see how this works. Now I do have the discharge, um, additional discharge unit plugged in, but it's not, it's not really doing anything at this point. It's not a storage mode that this would be used. Okay, so it seems to be holding around 8 amp. Oh, it's dropping again. So it does look like the discharger or the charger is doing a bit of fluctuation on the current just to be sure it's getting that See that it's, the charge is only nine minutes so far. Okay, we're down to six amp. Now these R1 batteries are very good quality. They can handle a 20 amp charge, not a problem. Charger's pausing at around 5 amp. Oh, we can see it dropped down to 4 now. Yeah, it's like watching paint dry or grass grow. Watching your 
battery charge okay we see some movement there we're down to three amp now the purpose of this uh, video is actually because uh, SkyRC asked me to video the issue that I've noted with the the charger so we'll share it with them and see what they think maybe this needs a firmware update to um, to better test the charging cycle and discharge it also does this on storage on storage mode what it'll do is it says that it will discharge it to I don't know let's say 3 3.8 volt and it's it'll discharge it bring it to 3.8 on the indicators here then when you go test the battery it could be like 4 4 volt per cell in that in that battery because they don't take an account that the the voltage increases as soon as you take the load off so it's very unusual that way we'll say okay we're down to 2 amp things are going good and what we'll, what I'm going to do is after it's done charging we'll just let it sit for a second and then we'll take a look at what the um, the voltage is because what I want it to do is I want the battery to settle without the current being applied to it oh some kiss. so it is, says it is done right so then when we it says it's done it says it's at 434 and that's what I wanted at a high volt when I click the um, yeah so you can I was just pushed a little too early but you can see that as as it's going here the voltage is decreasing while it's sitting here right it's no longer 4.35 which it stopped at it's now decreasing to 4.3 and it and it's it seems to be because it, it prematurely stopped like it, it brought it down to about 2 amp or whatever and then just shut off and it didn't actually charge it to full or or up to its limit so you can see it's slowly uh, backing down so what I've tended to do is I've had to charge it uh, two or three times to bring it up to the 4.35 okay so that's what I was noticing is that it does bring it close but it is not exact and you would think that uh, a computer controlled smart charger could actually charge your battery to its limit so what we'll do is we'll pass this on to SkyRC we'll see what they do maybe there's a firmware update that's needed maybe it doesn't like my battery These, this is a high capacity battery high quality so maybe they tested it with like very um, soft batteries that, that maybe you know very low milliamp per hours or or something I'm not sure but it is definitely shows it's at 4.33 and it cut off at 435 okay well thanks for watching